would I would follow my passion. I mean, whatever turns you on, you know. I uh, uh, I found I was lucky. I found something early that that turned me on. But but uh, you don't want to take a job just for the money. You don't want to take a job for an organization that you really don't feel good about or work for people that you don't feel good about. You you really want to be excited when you get out of bed every morning. And it won't necessarily be the job that you have 10 years later, but you'll be learning so much as you go along and check what I was earning because I just knew it was the right thing to be to be doing. So I would I would I would follow follow your passion. And that's one of the things you guys will find that you have passions and having a passion is a gift. I think we all have passions and you don't get to uh, choose them, they pick you, but you have to be alert to them. You have to be looking for them. And when you find your passion, it's a fantastic gift for you because it gives you direction, it gives you purpose. Uh, you can have a job or you can have a career or you can have a calling. And the best thing is to have a calling. And if you find your passion, you'll have that and all your work won't feel like work to you. I do think, you never know exactly, you know, you don't choose your passions, your passions choose you. How, you, how they are formed, you're never completely sure, but I do think you get imprinted somehow early on with certain things, and you just get excited about them, and because you're excited, you pay more attention, and they grow. Um, and that's, space is like that for me. I watched Neil Armstrong step onto the moon when I was five. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true, and the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're gonna give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society, and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere. When, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit, because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work, and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're gonna fail. So you gotta love it, you gotta have passion. When I say I saw none of this coming when I first touched down in the state of California 27 years ago, the only thing that got me from there to here, other than luck, was a deep passion for technology and an open mind. So take the time to find the thing that excites you more than anything else in the world, not the thing your parents want you to do, or the thing that all your friends are doing, or that society expects of you. People listening to this show know, know what their passion is, and, um, and, and they may, it could be a hobby, it could be um, you know, they could love, love reading, they could love playing tennis, they could, you know, they'll have passions. Um, and if you have a passion, uh, it makes sense to spend a lot of your life in, involved in that passion. Um, and quite often you can turn your passion uh, into a business. You can see um, uh, that maybe there's some aspect of your passion that people are not doing that well. And, um, and you know, you can say, screw it. You know, I, I could, I could, I, I could do it better, um, and I think all you know, if you, if you spend your life with your eyes open, looking for, um, looking for things that frustrate you, looking for a gap, gaps in the market, um, that's all the business is. Is it, it's fulfilling that, you know, filling in a gap and doing it better than it's been done by anybody else, um, and uh, and. Um, and you know, it, 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 people who don't have closed minds will most likely find find that find those opportunities. Now, I suspect there will be a hundred people who will have come up with that idea before you, um, but those hundred people, um, you know, won't won't have had the courage just to go and do something about it. So, um, you know, so it's so those few people who just say, right, you know, let, I, I'm going to give it a go, um, that and often end up. Um, you know, being, being successful. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.